Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to make a video about one of those power converters that you can purchase for less than 5 US dollars straight from China. It arrived after about two weeks, which is very fast, considering that it has to be shipped to Germany. And I kind of liked the off the shelf package that it came in. It was claimed to be a 12 or 24 volt inverter to 220 volts AC to plug in your mains devices and it should also have a USB output. So it arrived, I put it out of the box, I made a teardown video but unfortunately my camera deleted all of the footage. So I was there making or trying to make another video and suddenly this thing just did not work. I wanted to show you the thing closed, putting power to it, and kind of showing you a weird phenomenon which should lead you to the fact that the electronics in there must be rubbish without even taking it apart. But that didn't work because it just short circuits the input for no apparent reason. I tried hooking the terminals or the voltage up to the inner terminals right on the PCB and it doesn't work either, so I have no clue what actually happened. Probably the transformer is fried, but the transistor doesn't heat up anyway, so I can't really tell what's going on at electronic. Um, but first of all, let's talk about the specifications. It should run 12 or 24 volts and output about 220 volts AC. How an inverter usually works is you've got an input voltage which is usually a stray 12 or 24 or 48 volts you have an inverted transformer put it up to about 220 volts AC uh, DC and then you make about uh, make a square wave or different sine wave by using four MOSFETs transistors switching a kind of a crisscross circuit if you want to have an input voltage which is which is 12 to 24 volts so you have like double the input voltage which is still okay you must have a DC to DC converter first you must transform it down to something like 8 volts and then put into inverter transformer to make about 200 volts DC out of it or you must put it up to about 35 volts and then make a boost converter uh, make a inverter transformer to put it up to the 220 volts if you want to have a real galvanic distribution what should be case in any inverter transformer so basically they should have kind of a DC DC transformer in it meaning that if the voltage rises the current consumption should get lower so I hooked that thing up to the power supply my laboratory power supply with um changeable output voltage and I found out that the volt the current consumption increases when the voltage increases meaning that in here is a linear voltage regulator and this is very very odd because you can't let that thing output like more than 5 watts considering that you have to dump almost like two and a half watts because you will have 24 volt input and you must dump half of the power going in to get a straight 220 volts output so I took it apart and I found no linear regulator the thing on here is basically a transistor to switch the little tiny inverter transformer on and off this inverter transformer usually gets its use in CCFL or switching compact fluorescent drivers which should be a maximum of 7 watts with that size of inverter and I found no linear regulator it's a single sided PCB the only thing I found was two Sener diodes and it must be a joke it has a USB output claimed to output 500 milliamps and how even if the battery is discharged at about 10 volts 
you must have a drop of 5 volts. And on 500 milliamps, that would be 2.5 watts this little xenodiode had to get rid of. How is that even possible? They're usually half watt xenodiodes. It would overheat completely. Are we talking about a totally discharged 12 volt battery? What about a fully charged 24 volt battery? It could almost be 29 volts. I mean, it's 24 volts on 500 milliamps you have to drop. If you put like 12 watts on a little thing, it's going to explode. So the whole thing must be a joke. And actually, they must use the other Zena diode providing power to the inverter transformer. Basically, you would expect that thing to output like 10 or even 50 watts because stuff you can buy on a market in Germany with that size might have an output of about 25 watts. But no, the transformer is way too small and also <laughs> they are going to drop voltage over the Zena diode. And you will never be able to get like an amp through that diode. It will just explode, fry, I don't know. It would go up in flames probably. It is probably nice that they have like a 400 volt capacitor back here to keep the output, which actually is DC, as you could tell by looking at the circuit, at a constant voltage. I tried hooking up a 3 watt LED lamp. And it was barely even lighting up. I'm sure that this thing is not even able to provide a single watt of power on a 220 volt output. And I did not try to basically hook up an electronics device on here because I don't really have a USB device that I can fry. I want to hook up my Nexus 5 and fry my expensive mobile phone for a piece of Chinese crap. So. I'm just gonna tell you, don't buy this piece of crap. You will get ripped off so bad. The electronics on here is not even worth a buck. And definitely, it's not worth buying to take apart because this is just the worst piece that I've ever saw coming from China. Really, I buy a lot of stuff in China and mostly it's quite high quality, but this is just a joke. I'm definitely going to talk to the AliExpress seller to probably get some of my money back because this is just not what it was claimed and it's just ridiculous. So hope this video helped you. Probably even would be more interesting with the thing working but <laughs> sorry I can't get it to work so See us later in a different video, or at least I hope so, and goodbye.